This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're at a private screening here of Prize Fighter out this Friday on Amazon Prime. Are you looking forward to this film, Del? Yes, I am looking forward to it. Um, my little nephew's in it. Bailey, come here. Bailey's one of the stars in the film. Looks like a film star. <laughs> what part are you playing in the film? Um, uh, like a little kid, like an innocent one. He's with like some bullies. Oh, see that? Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> uh, Derek, do you remember the, the conversation we had two days ago before you fought Pulev uh, outside the hotel? Yeah, go on, oh, remind me. About how to select the wife. Huh? About how to select the wife. You were giving me life advice. Yeah, what did I say? You've got to uh, inspect each one of her friends first. You have to, and then meet the family first. Then you know if you've got a good one or a bad one. I found that, you know, like, you've just come out of the press conference with Pulev, you had a little rumble around, and then, uh, yeah, you were so calm and relaxed outside the press. If only people saw that side to you, Del. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just, you just have to take it by a stride. Either you want to be vicious or be calm. And I was calm, so it worked out very well. It did work out well for you on the night. How do you reflect on that win now at the O2? I don't know what other judge was scoring yet, man. You know, it gave it 12-something. I don't know. I was like, what the hell was he scoring? But you know what? I'm used to getting those numbers. Uh, you know, give a shout-out to Pula. Great fight. Um, you know, I mean, everybody loved it, man. So, bigger ones are coming now. Well, I think they are. Certainly, your name was mentioned a lot of times the day after the fight. Um, let's talk about someone that I didn't expect to call you out. Tyson Fury called you out. said you're not friends and he wants a, a third fight with you. All right, you know, listen, Frank Warren and his posse, Gypsy King and his posse, listen, just tell me when, what time, where, and I'm there. Is that the fight you want most, Tyson Fury? I want to fight, bro. It's not what I want, what I don't want. I want to fight. If you're a fighter, you should fight everybody out there. You know, I want to fight. That is it. You know, I get lots of people saying, oh, you should go out on a great win. You should retire. I, um, I want to fight. I love fighting. I mean, from looking in, it seemed like you are very good friends. So I was surprised you made that call out, were you? It's just business. It'll be a great fight. You know, enough respect to Tyson and his family. Uh, if he wants to fight, we'll fight. If he don't, I want Deontay Wilder. Okay, I will have to ask you, a lot of people in boxing have been very, very vocal on our channel uh, about the fact that you should not fight Deontay Wilder. What's your response? Don't watch it. <laughs> they will. <laughs> Don't watch it. <laughs> Why do you think people are, are talking the way, the way they are about you and Wilder? Because they're failures in their lives. They fail every time they jump a hurdle. So they always give up. You know, they rather take the easy way of life. This is waiting to die. I don't want to do that. I want the hard stuff in life. I want to go, you know, prove myself something. I want to go out there and explore the world. But they don't. Those people who say those things, look at their lives. Look what they do. The comments they write on, your, on the blog. Ask first of all, what do you do for a living? Also, you should be asking them. Because they can't walk in my shoes. That's why they take the easy way out. They rather marry the, the easy option, not go for the harder option. A lot of people in boxing, like Dave Caldwell, Ben Davison has been on the channel saying the same thing. Why do you think these people are saying this? Look at them. Ben Davis. He only became a great trainer because of Tyson Fury. Do you understand? Um, Dave Caldwell. He lives in Sheffield, bro. The fact, well, that's more else I've got to say to you, man. You know, look at those people's lives. They don't compare to mine. I want to fight. Last one, if Fury doesn't come off, if Wilder doesn't come off, Dillian White went on Instagram and was suggesting he'd be open to a, a third fight with you as well. Um, fancy that with Dylan a third time? Listen, I want to fight everybody. If I have to do a ream every, number three with Dylan, I would do it. If I have to fight Deontay Wilder, I would do it. If I have to fight Tyson Fury, I would. I want to fight anybody. Seems like retirement is totally out of the question then. Oh, fuck that shit, man. On that note, Derek, thank you very much for your time. Thank we'll you. speak soon, all right? Top man. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Day.
Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.